So, um, like I said at the end of the last video, so far we've thought about which point is higher than which and what that tells us about where the minimum is, but we haven't used the actual height information to get anything more useful. So what if we do start paying attention to that? So here I have some uh, data on our cross-section function. Um, and what could you do with this? It's a bracket. We're, we're pretty sure the minimum is somewhere in that range. Uh, can I get an estimate of where the bracket is? What could I possibly do? So think about that, pause the video, come back. Okay, welcome back. Uh, one idea would be to fit some kind of function and ask where the minimum of that function is. Uh, so let me add a trend line here. Um, is this a good function to fit to ask uh, where's the minimum? Well, straight lines don't really have interesting minimums. The minimum would be at negative, at positive infinity here. Um, what's the simplest function that has a minimum? How about a parabola, a polynomial, order two polynomial? Um, and uh, we got r squared equals one. Is that a surprise? Well, with three points, you're basically guaranteed to get r squared equals one for a parabola. And that would predict that the minimum would be here. So then that can be my guess of where the minimum is. And then maybe I could move there along my gradient and then find a new gradient, etc. Um, or I could make that my new point and then use that point and some other re recent points, fit another parabola and get a new minimum from that and keep doing that just within the line search. So um, this method has a mystery name, but now we know it's involving parabolas. So we'll reveal it's called the three point parabolic. Um, it's fairly straightforward. Um, and as always, we should ask what could possibly go wrong? Um, so that's what we just said. What could possibly go wrong? Um, it's possible that the fitted parabola, that the three points you have might accidentally be concave down. And so the fitted parabola would have a maximum at its vertex rather than a minimum, um, which you don't want to move to probably. Uh, it's possible the three line, the three points would be exactly collinear. Uh, and then your parabola would just be a straight line and you don't want to move off to positive infinity. So there's a, a kind of guarded method called Brent's method that's widely implemented in software. It's nothing mathematically fancy, it's just a bunch of bookkeeping. Try three-point parabolic because that's faster than golden section, but if you see something like this happening, then fall back toward the golden section for a few steps and then try three-point parabolic again. So a reasonably good idea. We're going to keep up with this idea of approximating parabolas in the next video.